you tonight. A Menlo Park photographer who was trusted around kids is accused tonight of sexually abusing young boys for decades. KPX 5 reporter Maria Medina in Portola Valley, where the suspect is accused of preying on children. Maria? Randolph Haldeman was the children's swim team photographer here at the Ladera Recreation Center for years. This is also where investigators say some of the sexual abuse occurred. Once we launched the investigation, we discovered that there were multiple victims. 30 years. That's how long Randolph or Randy Haldeman is accused of sexually abusing young boys before investigators finally arrested him today. Three victims have come forward so far, but we definitely believe that there are more victims out there. San Mateo County Sheriff's detectives say their investigation began in January. After receiving a tip that Haldeman may be involved in lewd acts with a minor. Well, it was revealed to us through um, a trusted adult. And through that, we discovered that there were multiple other victims. Detective Rosemary Blankswade says their investigation revealed Haldeman sexually abused three boys, ages 8 to 13. Some of the abuse allegedly happened at the Ladera Rec Center, as well as Haldeman's home that he shares with his wife. Their door cracked open after being kicked in by deputies early this morning. No one was home. It's really scary. It's really scary. Um, it's horrible. Parents at the rec center say they're stunned by Haldeman's arrest. Many didn't want to go on camera, saying that Haldeman's family had long ties to the center. However, one woman told KPIX 5 she was warned Haldeman exhibited inappropriate behavior and to keep her distance. <laughs> Besides being trusted as a swim photographer at Ladera, Haldeman's LinkedIn shows his contact with children and young adults was extensive. He lists himself as an engineering mentor at Stanford. And for the last 29 years, he says he's been a big brother for Big Brothers Big Sisters of America, saying, quote, My latest little is a boy who lives with his mom and four sisters. I really enjoy spending time with him, whether working on homework, taking bike rides, or raging waters. Blank Suede praised the first victim to come forward. But we're very thankful that this person did finally report it to us and that they came forward so that we could stop anybody else from becoming a victim. And Haldeman also lists himself as the CEO of his own company, Code and Technology, in Menlo Park. By the way, he's already back out on the streets. He bailed out of jail this afternoon. In Portola Valley, Marie Medina, KPIX 5.